Hi, this is Scott Diaz with Qubit, and I'm going to show you how to use planar view with our piping tools. Now, many of you have seen the Walk the Run tool in AutoCAD for detecting and modeling components on a pipe run, and some of you have seen our planar view for taking the photo like scan view, which comes from an individual scan position, and connecting it to AutoCAD. As you can see, as I click in planar view, a 3D coordinate is transferred to AutoCAD. AutoCAD uses this 3D coordinate in conjunction with the active CAD command to continue drawing. Now a user can write any number of commands to control AutoCAD from the planar view interface. In this case I've simply entered my walk the run tools. So I simply click on two points on the next pipe and the software is determining the fitting in between as usual with walk the run. Now the real benefit here is working with a high resolution point of view. Rather than struggle with the more rough view of the raw scan data, users can click and choose exact points from what seems like a photograph. This can be especially useful in areas where tie-in point accuracy is critical. As you can see, I'm able to help the software on my next selection here with the T. It's much easier for me to choose the T in planar view than it is in AutoCAD, where many of the points are sort of running together and mixing with points in the background. Now, of course I could clip out these points but I don't need to if I can click exactly what I need on the right in planar view. So after the T it finds the reducer and I select the default value by hitting escape which I've programmed in planar view and I move on to the elbow here. Two points and insert elbow. Now I'm going to skip ahead here so you can see a major benefit when inserting components that need to be very accurate. So I'm going to continue the run and go up so it'll find this elbow. Now the software will do a good job of detecting the components along the run, but perhaps you want to be sure that you're getting exactly the right tie-in point. I zoom into the flange here and I want to insert by hub. Of course, you'll have the option of inserting by facer hub, but rather than doing it off the raw scan data, I just select it directly in planar view. So I know that I'm inserting that flange directly where I want to. Now I can start inserting the rest of the components one after the next here with the gasket, the valve, so on and so forth. And with the walk the run to connect one component to the next, I just simply hit the escape key, which I'm doing on the keyboard. Put in my second flange, escape, and now I can continue piping. So I'm going to select two points out on the run here, and then select OK. So I'll go ahead and finish the run here. And once finished, I can apply constraints as usual, which apply constraints will patch up all these gaps in the data and it'll best fit the items to the cloud. And there's my model on the pipe run. Now you can use planar view for any number of reasons, but I hope you've enjoyed this powerful example.